This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers, subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself Boy my viewers and subscribers, hope everybody is doing okay We start to have some sad news um, my viewers and subscribers One of our track and field sprinters or, you know, a 400 meter athlete is really in need of our support. Now, news recently broke that popular 400 meter athlete Akeem Bloomfield and his sister, you know, they have both started a GoFundMe page in aid of their mother who is being diagnosed with um, stage 4 C-A-N-C-E-R. You know that we can, you know, call certain words because of YouTube guidelines and all of that. So you can just read between the lines and see what I'm saying. Now, based on Loop News, Bloomfield and his sister, um, you know, have started the GoFundMe page and are hoping for the best as it regards to people really chipping in and giving them a helping hand. Now, their mother, Elizabeth, was actually diagnosed with stage 4 C-A-N-C-E-R that, you know, start, um, initially started to affect her breast. And, you know, the goal that they are looking to achieve is actually 65,000 US dollars. So, yeah, man, in order to go through certain things, they are, you know, they set a target of 65,000 US dollars for the GoFundMe. Now, Bloomfield, who represented um, Kingston College, and the University of Auburn shared um, the sad news on his Instagram page. Now, according to the 400 meter sensation, uh, the condition has, you know, sort of really hampered her mother's um, way of life. You know, it has actually moved to her bones and, and things like that. So we can see that it's very serious, my viewers and subscribers. Um, the youngster also expressed that, you know, the bills are really high and the family um, alone won't be able to afford it. So, you know, the initial diagnosis actually came in 2018 based on what is being reported. And, you know, since then it has actually moved to her bones and um, her spine. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, it has actually caused her spine to get fractured. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that it's actually a specific part in the spine, probably the lower part. And, you know, it has actually caused her to, to, to be unable to move from her waist down. So you can just imagine how traumatic this is for the, um, for the family. Yeah, man. Uh, Miss Elizabeth is only 51 years of age. My viewers and subscribers, so you can just imagine going through all of this at such a relatively young age. Yeah, man, not, not um, you know, 51 to, to be going through all of that is not um, really, really a, a old age at all. So we are really sorry to know that this is happening to, to her and, and thing, you know. So we are just hoping for the best as it regards to, to, to Miss, Miss Eliz um, Elizabeth. No, um... Bloomfield, you know, a lot of persons would be aware of the, of how talented the young man is, and you can just imagine that this will more than likely affect his, um, um, you know, his his participation or you know his career, you know, because at the end of the day, you only have one mother, so no matter how you try to to move on, certain thing is going to affect you, and you know, you will remember that boy, he, he has actually run forty three point nine four seconds over the distance of 400 meter and this is actually the second fastest time over this distance by a jamaican so yeah man my viewers and subscribers i am hoping that you know all those that are able to help will be able, um will go ahead and do so and i am going to see if i can go ahead and leave a link in the description below so as to um, give persons an opportunity to click on the link and see if they can donate because I guess every dollar counts So once you're in a position to donate you just um, hop on over to the GoFundMe page and See if you can donate because it's for a worthy cause, you know, it's 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 actually the mother of an Of one of our athlete that you know, we are expecting to to go ahead and represent the country and make us proud so you know they are going through a time of need so if we are able to help then we should just step forward and see how best we can help because at the end of the day we never know 
what situation we might end up in. So we want to make sure that we are being supportive once, um, once it is possible. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, as much as how we have our way here in Jamaica and how we like to do things, you know, one good thing is that when we come together um, on one cause or in one accord, you know, we usually get things done. So we just have to hope that that people will be able to chip in. And seeing that this is a youngster that, you know, is in the field that, you know, um, will, will, will basically give him the opportunity to represent the, the country. There is no, well, I am hoping that um, people from, from that are in charge of his field as regards to, you know, from the, the, the arm of the government will chip in and see how best they can, they can support the youngster and his family. But um, from us here at Sports to the Bone, we just want to say, boy, we, we are really saddened by the news and, you know, we are wishing the best for, for, for Akim, you know, and, and his mother, you know. And the family in general, because you, one can only imagine that the entire family is, you know, they are they are actually going through it at this point in time. So we're just gonna keep our fingers crossed that she will be able to pull through and will be able able to make a speedy recovery, you know, because um even in the post that he made revealing the the situation, he was saying that boy, right now after going through a certain treatment. You know, they are still going to need support for her to go through other procedures to get back on her feet if everything goes well. So, boy, I can just imagine that, um, you know, you know, um, they, are, they are feeling it because at the end of the day, she, you know, they, they said that the initial diagnosis come in 2018. So, you know, it's not like it was out there in the media. So, you know, you can just um, assume that it's, it's not at a stage that they definitely need help. So they are reaching out. So. Yeah man, my viewers and subscribers, I know the, this platform isn't the biggest platform in the world, but who to tell one or two persons might hear and um that are tuned in and will be able to give a helping hand. But um that is basically all for this video, my viewers and subscribers. Some sad news coming in. Um, you know, one of our, our young athletes, you know, his family is actually you know, their back is against the wall right now and now is the time that we need to step in as fellow Jamaicans and see what we can do. So as I said earlier, I'm going to see if I can get the link and leave it in the description below so as to give you an opportunity to go ahead and see what you can do, alright? Sports to the bone, keeping you informed. Please remember to like, share, leave us a comment. If you have not yet subscribed, remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm out.